Previously on Pokemon Sword. Ultra Ball. She has four Pokemon. Hitmon Top. Hmm. Hitmon Top, Hitmon Link, Hitmon Chan, Macham. Do you mean Machamp has a different form? Oh wow, is that Machamp looks different. Bye bye Machamp. Yay! Galarian Wizzing! Finally have Galarian Wizzing on uh, on my team. There we go. Our fourth badge. Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. We will now be following Sonya and see what happened at the top of the mountain. Okay, so you won't check. Okay. It's probably not safe, so let me let me check for you. Hmm, what is this? Dude, what are you doing? Wishing stars? What the hell are you thinking, man? A battle it is. Let's see what you got then. You're causing some Rukus. Hmm. Steel type versus psychic type. This should be in our favor. Hmm, really? So much for your cockiness. I've also had enough of it. Can you just go away? Okay. Good job, Berserker. Hatrem? Who is this? Oh, it's the evolved form of Hatina, I see. Still, though. Let's use one Hone Claws. Yeah, what move? Psybeam? Do you think it will actually deal a lot of damage to Perserker? Well, fair enough. Fair enough damage. Let's see if you can take this. Powered up Iron Head. Powered up Iron Head from one Hone Claws and... Top loss. So what now? What are you planning to do now, huh? Hmm, Gotharita, another psychic type? You sure love psychic types. Beam. You need to diversify your team, you know, Bid. Basically, if I have a Dark Type Pokemon, I can, I can just sweep you. I can just sweep you with that single Pokemon. I mean, now I'm even sweeping you. I'm sweeping you already with just me out. That's a critical hit. Imagine if, imagine if it didn't, if it didn't deal a critical hit. So you're all top then. Win this for the chairman. You're not doing a great job so far. Psychic like type two. Beam. Will it be enough to faint Berserker? Nope. Great job, Berserker. Now, would you please go away now, Bead? You're annoying. 
This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Stop causing a ruckus here. Yeah, whatever. Chosen by the chairman. Not interested on you. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose Copper Raha. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Oh god, bid. What are you doing? <laughs> Pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. It reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer's school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural Part of Galar's history! You show no love toward Galar. We're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. Oh, there you go. Show him. Show him, Chairman. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Oh, thank God. Thanks for that, Chairman. Show him the way, would you? Challenger Bead, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Yeah, show him. Put him in his place. He's annoying. Ah, Sonya and Kindred too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet, we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Bid's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bid has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who took Bid under his wing, and so Bid was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. Oh, rip. Okay, so there's something behind the mural. Hmm. Sonia is thinking deeply in the connection. Guess she concluded something? What do you have to say, Sonia? Not a real turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? A sword and shield Pokemon? Hmm, both are correct. Maybe let's pick Pokemon. Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people, the same as the tapestries. Tapestries. Hmm. I think both are correct, but let's go with the same as tapestries. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Badoo drop in? More than any statue of a hero or old or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means So it's a Pokemon! <laughs> Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the actual, with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? Hmm. With your help, I really feel like we've we made a big discovery here. Thanks. 
I'll give you a couple of these so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Baldon Lia next, right? Oh, revives. Thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. So there was history being covered up by all that overstylized artwork. I'm gonna have to look into this some more. Alright, see you later. See you later, Sonia. Yep, she is indeed the granddaughter. <laughs> but more artistic when it got destroyed. Well, I guess something came out of Bid's recklessness, but still. I don't like the way he speak. It's annoying. Hmm. Let me heal Perserker first. Before proceeding to the story further. Okay, heading north. I have a feeling we're gonna catch new Pokemon here. Like that one. Hmm. Can we actually interact? What's this? Uh, what? What's this? Hmm, battle. <laughs> Impidim. Risk. What type are you? Your message to Orbital. Let me put you to sleep. That's gonna confuse Orbital. Nice. Nice hit. Now let's use a Pokeball. In the meantime, I will turn off the battles, the battle animation. Make things short while we are catching Pokemon. Didn't see this Pokemon type. Hmm, Dark Fairy, I see. Okay. Hmm, where is that? Battle effects off. For the meantime. Hmm, how about this? What is this? What happens when we touch touch it? No Pokemon here. Hold up, what is this? Uh huh. Hmm. Shinotic. Was this a previous gen Pokemon? I have a feeling it is. FX4. Oh. Hmm. Well. Okay, let's send our beetle out. Hmm, you're holding a tiny mushroom. Strength sap. Guess this one is a grass type. Suicide beam. Regular damage. Wait, what? Moonlight. It keeps on healing. <laughs> okay, let's put it to sleep first, then attack it. Okay, good. Let's use Bug Buzz. I don't think it will... F I don't think it will faint even if it is super effective. Hmm, just regular damage. Oh, no, no, no. Sleep Powder. 
So instead, you put Orbeezel to sleep. Woof! Are you difficult to catch? Come on! Come on! Okay. Do I have an awakening in my inventory? Hmm. We will replace Psybeam with Psychic. Psybeam has the ability to confuse her opponent, but at least Psychic has the chance of lowering your opponent's special defense stat. Grass and Fairy type. Okay, let me get your tiny mushroom. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I have an awakening. Awakening, awakening, awakening. Nope. Let's place Karkol in front. Okay, the path divides into two. Let's go right. Two full hills. We're not going to encounter any Galarian Ponita here. Because it's ex ex it's exclusive to Pokemon Shield. We are playing Pokemon Sword. Oh. Wonder how big this forest is. Fine, let's go with Karkol. Cook Zarek. Ilseri? Everything is affecting. Let's go with SmackDown. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with SmackDown. Karkol has a higher attack stat. Oh boy, Karkol. No time to be falling in love right now. Acid armor. It's gonna raise its defense. Okay, good. Don't let that Pokemon infatuate you. Shinotic! Okay, Grass Fairy. Let's use Flame Charge. Oh, paralyzed. That's bad. Giga Drain. Mm hmm. That actually hurts. Oh boy. Oh boy, Carcol. That's not good. We're not in a good position right now. You will need to switch. In Dread, no. Nope. First Circle. He's fast asleep, but. He'll probably wake up in two turns. <laughs> Pokemon here has high level. Nice one hit from Perserker. Okay, Karkol now level 34. Do you still have another Pokemon? Sinistee! Hmm, first time I've seen this one. Although... If I remember correctly, this one... Was shown on a trailer. Sucker Punch. That's okay. Wall Breaker Berserker! Oh, Karkol is evolving. Okay, what's your name? Karkol evolved into Colossal. Hmm, interesting name. Colossal. Cold Pokemon is usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames. That reached 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn. Okay. 
Tarshat. What? What kind of movie is that? Tarshat. Rock type. The user pours the guitar over the target, lowering the target speed set. Target becomes weaker to fire type moves. Interesting. Let's remove ancient power. So, maybe, so first we can use star shot and then flame charge. Anyway, you're paralyzed, so stay back for the. Stay there for the meantime. Let let Gerardus handle things. Okay, there's nothing here. What? What happens when you touch the mash the mushrooms? Oh wait, wait, wait! Impidim. No, no, I don't want to battle you. <laughs> Let's run. Let's just run from Impidim. Okay, this one is a double battle. Let's see. We haven't seen Grod battle yet with his final evolved form. So let's go. Let's see what you can do, Grod. But first, let me turn on battle effects. Battle effects, battle effects. Double battle. Came to ride the Galar train. Couple Robert and Jacqueline. Nine Tails and Kirlia. Grod and Gyarados. Okay. We will have Gyarados take care of Nine Tails. And Grod take care of Kirlia. Trace. Hmm. Alright. And then, hmm, Kirlia. Wait, I don't think it's... Wait, is Kirlia Psychic Fairy type? Hmm. Oh, let me check. Okay, Psychic Fairy. Confirmed. Confirmed, because if Kirlia... Just a psychic type, then knockoff would deal super effective damage. But just did neutral. Uh huh. Incinerate. Okay, finish it, Gyarados. Gyarados now level 34. You wanna try you wanna ride the train again to forget the loss? It's so dark here. Oh it's Ian! Snore! Maybe useful if you want. If you want to use sleep on your Pokemon and then you can use Snore to keep on attacking the opponent for two turns. Uh-huh. 34, 36. 34. Let's use Berserker again. There's another TM there. Hold up. There's an item here. Two Hyper Potions. Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. Hmm, perhaps if we touch some mushrooms, it will illuminate some of the path. The other path. In DD. Hmm. Okay, so that's the name of the Pokemon who is at the Pokemon Center. Let's see. Control damage from Fake Out, so you're not stupid. Oh! It didn't get flinched, so that means it has Inner Focus as, inner focus as an ability. It's gonna keep on reducing Berserker's attack stat. 
I don't like it. <laughs> Much respect to Berserker's attack stat, ability, <laughs> and bulkiness. Bulkiness when it comes to physical attacks. Another in DD. So will you keep on using play nice? Psy beam. Is this Pokemon a psychic type? I think it has a really low defense stat. Perserker's Perser attack stat has been already lowered by two stages. And I'm still dealing more than a half damage. Or not sure if it's because Berserker just deals really high damage because of his na nature, ability. <laughs> hmm, let's try it. Wait, what's that? Is that an evolution? What? Hmm, Swirlix. Fairy type. Level 35. Already have you, so no need to catch. Uh, is that an evolved form of Impidim? How do I interact with it? Hold on. Let me catch you. But I need to awaken Orbital first. Let's use full heal. See if we can battle it. More Grim. Definitely the evolved form of Impidim. Risk. Level 38. That's actually relatively high level. Let's use normal roll first to decrease its attack and special attack. All surrender, what kind of move is that? Uh-huh. And let's use drum beating. Oh nice sucker punch. Oh what? Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> it fainted from drum beating. Uh, I'm sure we are going to encounter another. Whoops. Oh, there's the TM there. Okay, there's an. What? That? I want to pick that item. There we go. Luminous Moss. It boosts special defense if the holder is hit with a water type attack. Can only be used once. Let's try lighting this. Hmm. There's a TM here. Oh, nice. You turn. Okay. Nothing. Well, it illuminated the path. Hold up. I will let Corviknight learn U turn. Or Visquire, rather. Where's TM? TM, you turn. Wait, so I can't use it on Pokemon on my PC. Maybe later. What else do we find here? What else can we find here? Couple we battled earlier. Already done with it. Okay, so the trick is to touch the mushrooms as we go further, further deeper into the forest. Oh, hold up, I have a feeling we are going to battle someone here. <laughs> Let's switch to Gyarados, who's at full HP. Oh wait, no, we're already done? That's it? That's it? Balloon Leah, hmm. And there's another gym here. Fairy type gym? Looks like a fairy type gym. Hello? 
Hello. Hmm. Welcome to the town of Balon Lia, a charming town where the people make their homes among the trunks of the towering trees. Okay, before exploring the town, before exploring the new area, of course we will heal our Pokemon. And I will check what other moves Colossal can learn from the move reminder. Hmm, tackles move three knocks polish. But nothing. Nothing, nothing. Hello? To get lost in Gleamwood Tangle, it's probably the work of fairy type Pokemon. Really? Glowing mushrooms, mysterious mushrooms, they're all the pranks of fairy type Pokemon. You think so? I was lured into town quite unexpectedly. This place is a bit hard to describe. Yeah, uh, I know. We need to restock. Now you can purchase more items, so... Okay. Oh, we can now purchase Hyper Potion. Anyway, that will be it for this episode, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.